What is this giant kelp? A single cell euglena, slime mold, and paramecium all have in common. They would all be found in Kingdom Protista. Protists are an interesting kingdom of life. You may have heard that Kingdom Protista is the junk drawer kingdom. Kind of like the drawer at home that you have a little bit of everything in it. Let me help explain why. You will find single cell organisms like diatoms, multicellular organisms that practice photosynthesis like sea lettuce, and a single cell organism like paramecium. If you have a eukaryotic organism and it is not a plant, animal, or fungi, it is classified as a protist. All protists have the following common characteristics. They are eukaryotic, which means that genetic material is found inside a nucleus and they contain membrane-bound organelles. Most prefer an aquatic or moist location. Probably the easiest way to think of protists is a eukaryotic organism that lacks the structures to be classified as a plant, animal, or fungi. This kingdom is so diverse that scientists group protists as plant-like, such as algae, animal-like, such as paramecium, and fungi-like, like this slime mold. I'd like to review two characteristics that help you get an understanding of the diversity of this kingdom. Let's first look at movement. Some protists, like ciliates, move using tiny hairs called cilia. Paramecium move this way. Other protists move by oozing along. They use a pseudopod. For example, an amoeba moves this way. And then a euglena are protists that move using a flagellum, which is a tail-like structure. And then some protists don't move, like kelp. And then diatoms just float along. Reproduction. Some protists reproduce asexually, like an amoeba, an algae, Slime modes reproduce using spores, which is a type of asexual reproduction. Arcella reproduce by budding. Some protists reproduce both sexually and asexually, like a paramecium. So in summary, if you have an organism with a nucleus and is not a plant, animal, or fungi, then you have a protist. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.